What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. In the previous episode, we began our um, investigation of the lakes, because Team Galactic is blowing up lakes apparently. And we completed Lake Valor and Lake Verity, and now we gotta make our way to Lake Acuity. Uh, all the way up to Snowpoint City, but first I want to see if there's something, a little secret thingy, uh, that is uncovered. But if you guys are hyped and ready to watch today's video, make sure to hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let's get into a quick team recap. Um, so our team is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, as you can see. Uh, we got Shy, our mute here at level 41. A uh, Timid Nature, which is alright, with uh, Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. I need to go heal at the Pokemon Center. Um, uh, we got Trident, our Manaphy here at level 47, with Tail Glow Surf, Acid Armor, and Ice Beam. Then we got Shahaha, our Skunk Tank, at level 47, with Night Slash, Flamethrower, Toxic, and Venom Shock. Then we got Join, our Torterra, here at level 49, with Crunch, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Earthquake. And we got sh our Shiny Altaria here, Lisla, at level 48, with Con Guard, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Moonblast. And last but not least, we got Frisco. Our Luxray of 49 with Thunder Wave, Spark, Bite, and Volt Switch, and that is our team. Before we do anything, like I said, I need to go heal because we're running low on PP, and to be honest, we need to fix that. Um, hold on, while we're healing real quick, I need to check something, so give me just one second. Alright, there we go. Everything's all set in stone. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick detour before we actually go and see what the hell is going on at Lake Acuity. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fly, and I'm going to fly over here to Floroma Town. Uh, just because I want to see if this has spawned, I guess would be the right word. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be the case or not, but if you know, you know. If you don't know, then maybe, maybe you will. Yep, it has officially spawned. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and swap Frisco here out to the front because the Drifloon is here. So if I remember this correctly. Uh, Drifloon only spawns here on Fridays, and it has to be, like, since we completed the, uh, Valley Windworks event, I might be able to quick ball this thing, I don't, I don't know, let's we'll see, but, um, you have to complete the... Valley Windworks event. And then, after that, uh, it'll be able to spawn, but if you complete it on a Friday, you have to wait to, to the following Friday in order for it to spawn. So if we were to com have completed the event, let's say last Thursday, which would have been impossible because the games weren't out then, but hypothetically, um, then the Friday, that next day, we could have came here and we could have caught ourselves a drift loom. But yeah, I figured, why not do it now, because not many people know uh, how to do it, so, or not many people remember how it works, so might as well just do it, teach people how to do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and name this thing 
Blue Loon, because it's a ghost type, and I don't know, I can't come up with any um, more of a clever nickname if I tried. It is Careful Nature, which is not great, so that kind of sucks, but luckily we're not using it, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Can we just, yeah, just click fly, and then I want to fly to Eterna City, because it doesn't matter how I get uh, to the next route, I just kind of have to go this way. So, um, let me make sure before we get moving if we have enough. We have 11. That should be plenty. I would find it hard to believe if it's not plenty, but... Uh, I don't know, we'll have to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and ride my bike so we can make this a little bit uh, easier on us. I say easier, but I can't, can't even ride my bike <laughs> that quickly, or that efficiently, I should say. So, go ahead and come in here now. The nice thing is, too, is that there... I was gonna say there's gonna be a couple of secrets now that we uncovered, but that's not true necessarily. Because like, now um, more of this has opened up for us, but it's not like super duper crazy secret, I guess. All right, so push that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this up. With it being an escape rope, that's nice. I'm gonna do this. And go ahead and rock smash. Go ahead and rock smash again. And we got ourselves a rare candy. Ooh. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, so this, this has fog, which I wasn't sure if it was going to or not, but this is why I'm glad we got the Pokey Edge app where we can clear out fog and things like that so we don't have to deal with the silliness of it. Also, if you can't tell with the hood up and everything, it's just been one of those days where, I don't know, it's just felt like it just felt like one of those days where you just exist. Like, you don't really do anything. You just kind of lie around. Not because, like, you're sick or anything, but you, you just don't have that motivation to really go out and do anything. That That's basically how I felt today. Um, despite the fact that it was Black Friday, I didn't really do any Black Friday shopping, which, I mean, it's all right. Um, Cyber Monday is around the corner, and I'll be back uh, on my school's campus then, so, like, I'll have that extra free time to do that stuff if I really wanted to, but, I don't know. That, and, and again, it's kind of like in the same boat of like, oh, I don't really have a job, so it's not like I'm in a rush to really do shopping and things like that. Like, I did shopping yesterday, but I think that was just because it was one of those things where it was like, on the mind, so... I just did it, but like today was like, nah, we're not gonna really do anything today. Which in a way it kind of sucks, um, but it's whatever. The fact that my Thanksgiving break flew by this fast just kind of made me sad uh, because like I feel like my break wasn't really long enough. My man's is spinning. Oh my god, this looks even weirder in 3D. Okay. I mean, too bad we can't go up there until after we beat the gym, but that's fine also because, like, um, there's a, quite a few areas, actually, we can explore once we beat the uh, Candace's gym. So, that would be nice. I wonder what level these guys are going to be. Hopefully... Hopefully the game sort of starts to pick up before we fight the Elite Four, because I really don't want the Elite Four to be a pushover. I really, really don't.
I'm sorry, what? I am sorry. What? Excuse me, low punny. I am never, never in my life seen a mirror coating low punny in my entire life. Are you serious? That that's what we're doing now? Is we're just making these little trainers have random ass moves? Interesting. You know, you want to know something too? I wonder if that's because... I wonder if that might be because not all the moves... Why am I in this pocket? What am I doing here? I wonder if that's because not all the moves are in the game. You know? Like... So, because I don't... I feel like something like that I would have remembered vividly unless, like, by this point of the game, I just slap that low punny up like it's nothing, so I never really think to worry about it, but the fact that the fact that I the fact that that happened honestly scared me a lot, because I was like this gonna actually knock me out or what? And I'm surprised I actually didn't knock me out because I did do a lot of damage to it. But I guess because base 100 HP, like we're we're not we're not doing that bad, I guess. Buffeted by the hail. Can't wait for it to look like this outside in like a few weeks. I'm honestly surprised we haven't gotten much snow here because, uh, well, on Thanksgiving we got snow, but it, none of it really stuck because it's not cold enough for it to stick, which again is kind of surprising, but, um, what am I trying to say here? With the fact that we well, I live in the Midwest. I'm surprised I haven't gotten, like, s like a lot of snow yet. Like, um, like this time last year, the last couple of years, actually, it's, um, it, like, the first snow has came, like, on Halloween, which has been, has been surprising. Um, and, like, all of last year... The snow would, like, we would get a snowstorm, like, every, or what felt like a snowstorm every, like, four days. So it's, like, it was a big inconvenience for, like, us to uh, get up and go and do anything because, like, there would be a snowstorm at, like, this time of night and it wouldn't stop until, like, the morning and it's, like, oh my god. And then you think about like things like the polar vortex, which that um, I remember that happening when it was even the week. No, it was the week after I went on my uh, field trip to DC in high school. Because I remember getting back from that trip and being like not like deathly sick, but I felt so just gross, like. I couldn't talk at all. Like, there was no volume to my voice, and even then, it hurt to talk. So, I remember that. And, like, I remember they were like, oh, you have to go to school the next day when you get back. And it's like, bro, we got back at, like, 1 a.m., and I feel like dog water. And I don't remember... I think I remember maybe going the entire day. Or maybe I went, like, half the day. And then I went home because I was like, I can't deal with this. Like, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna pass out at any second now. Like I've ate food and things like that, but I just my head hurts. My like it felt like my my head was just gonna blow off because I just felt it felt like congestion, but like very large amount of congestion just blocking my face. So yeah, but anyways, like I remember getting back from my DC trip and then. The polar vortex happening, and we basically didn't have school for, what, like, three days or something like that, so it's like, we had just gotten off for, like, finals, because, for whatever reason, we took finals after winter break, which, honestly, is stupid, but we got, a, uh, we got, we just came back from finals, essentially, and then, like, the next week... Like, we go, we go to school for, like, a day or two, and then we're off for the rest of the week because the buses couldn't start because of the polar vortex. So, like, in a way, like, it was... Oh, I gotta sleep in the bed. Never mind. Um, in a way, it was like, oh, no school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's like, damn, we can't do anything now because it's like... It's too cold to go outside and run, and it's like some places, like, the power went out. Um, I think when, because this was when I still lived at my old house, uh, back in my hometown, um, we had, I think it might have been the last day, where our power went out. And it was scary because it was, like, super cold out. And it's like, that's not good if the power is going out. That means, like, basically, you got a chance of freezing to death. And we don't really want to deal with that. So, you know, it's kind of like, oh my god, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of things like that happening again. But, um, it hasn't, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, like, it seems like since that winter season like we haven't like we've had snow like starting in October and not ending until April which that's half of the year which if you're just like thinking back to when you're a kid you, you just think you think snowfall is during December through February and it's like once spring comes around it doesn't it doesn't really snow at all, but it seems like the last couple years, it still snowed through spring into like mid-April. Because when mid-April rolls around, it's like that's when it starts to finally warm up once again. But I don't know, because I have I feel like I've talked about this before on stream. I know I've definitely talked about this with like my buddies and stuff like that. I'm someone who's okay with snow, obviously not like three feet of snow, like that's not good because, you know, we're not going to be able to go anywhere, but like if it snows outside, I like the snow. I don't like, I don't like the cold because I don't have body mass really to me. So it's like, I don't retain heat well. So, if I'm going to go out and do running and things like that, I'm going to be frigid by the time I get back from my run. Because it's like, I don't, I don't retain any sort of body heat. So, like, it sucks. But, is this guy going to use flamethrower? Okay. Good thing. That's not going to do anything, but... I'm going to catch that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm just waiting for the snow to fall. I really, that, like, winter, if you asked me a couple of years ago, I would have said winter is, like, my favorite season, but I think slowly over time, it's just, like, nah, it's really, it's really fall. Because fall opens up, like, the holiday season, like, it, like, goes, like, for me, it goes, like, my birthday into holiday season, which I think is, like, the best time of the year. Honestly. 
but... I don't know, I'm just not as big of a fan of summer as most people are, because I don't... I feel like a lot of reasons why people like summer a lot is down to the fact that, like, they have the ability to go out and do a bunch of stuff, whereas with me, it's kind of like... I kind of do, but I also... I also value free time just as much. I mean... I don't like having too much free time, and I'll probably... No, I can discuss this now. I was gonna say... I don't like having too much free time, because I don't like feeling... useless. Especially at the age I'm at right now. Like, I definitely feel like I always have something I need to be doing. Um, and if you kind of told me, like, this was going to be the mentality that I would have, like, when I grow into an adult, when I was, like, 18 even, um, I probably wouldn't have believed you, because even at 18, I was like... I don't know, I feel like at 18, I was, like, still kind of in, like, the high school mindset, like, I didn't have a college mindset, and then... Once I actually got into college, uh, in the fall of my freshman year, I kind of slowly fixated on more things like that, and I started to cherish things that I probably wouldn't have cherished really in high school like I do today. Like, it hasn't changed in terms of, like, this because it probably wasn't ever going to change. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I don't have necessarily the free time to stay up and play games all night, like, uh, it felt like when I was in high school. And that's the case just for me and all the guys, because, like I said um, in a previous episode, or just like a previous piece of content on the channel, I'm the youngest one out of my, uh, not, not the youngest one, I'm, on the younger side of my friends group. So I'm like, I'm one of the children, but I'm not, I try not to necessarily act like a child. Like I have my questions with things, but it's like, I try not to act like too childly. Like I crack jokes, you know, it's guy things. Like guys crack immature jokes. All the time. I feel like I'm hearing things and it's freaking me out, but I also feel like it's in, like I'm just hallucinating to a degree, so I don't know. But yeah, like I feel like when it comes to maturity since high school, like it's definitely shown in me, but it's one of those processes where it feels really slow, and maybe, just maybe, that's kind of the reason why I felt like I've had a, in my opinion, like, I felt like I've had a foul mood in myself for the past couple of months. Not like past couple of months, mainly the past couple of weeks, but it's probably close to a month now with the whole, like, things like getting a job and things like that, like, I don't know, just... I don't necessarily take criticism well, and I think certain things just irk me more than others, and I just kind of have to get into that stage of not letting certain things irk me, because I don't know where I saw, I don't know where I saw this, but there was like a, there was like a video of Kevin Hart saying something along the lines of like, um, the more you sit there and hate somebody for doing something, uh, the more time you're putting into something negative, that's going to make you feel more sour and make you feel more upset and angry when you really could be putting it into something more positive. And that's kind of been like my motto and my mantra, uh, especially like when I've been in college, because while what I do in college doesn't necessarily, like, it's difficult, 
But there's, ooh, excuse me, there's never, it never feels like there's a moment where I feel like I can't do it. The only time that I felt like I haven't been able to do something in college was when I first got into college and I thought I was gonna do computer science. And the only reason why is because I was asking my buddy Cam for help with a bunch of homework assignments because he knew how to do computer science to a degree, whereas I didn't know how to do any sort of computer science. So I was kind of just sitting there and I didn't necessarily put in all the time and the effort into computer science because my passion was kind of towards something else and it was a bit of a wake-up call um, when it was like, I'm halfway through a introductory level course for computer science and I have no idea. I have no idea how to do this. I have no understanding. I don't know what I'm doing, basically. So I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead and I'm gonna find something that I'm more passionate about, something I can pick up that's a little bit easier, but also something that I care about, which has been sports and things like that. Like, video game designer was kind of one of the things, like if you ask pre-college me, like probably up to my senior year of high school, was I would have told you, yeah, like, yeah, I wanted to be a video game designer because like, that shit looks cool, but then, like, realizing, hey, uh, you need to learn how to code. Like, darn, I don't really know if I can do that then. Because I feel like as... I don't know, I feel like a video game developer, I feel like I could do... Like, if I had to pick a job in, like, a video game development area, I feel like I would probably do best, not not in the art department, oh, not in like physical art, like the stuff that you see on the screen right now, I probably wouldn't be good at any of the stuff that's there. Um, I feel like if there is a strong suit for me, it would be like in a game, let's say like Pokemon, I would probably be best suited in like battling aspects, like the, maybe the creation of new moves, uh, like, lore behind new Pokemon, like, probably story-based stuff, because story stuff requires more imagination, uh, more imagination than creation, I would say. I mean, it probably is a 50-50 share, especially in the case like this, but, like, I think my strong suit would be, oh my god, this is actually kind of funny. Um, I think my strong suit, like, if I were to be a video game developer, would be, like, creation of, like, characters and lore. Like, watching, uh, like, certain animes and things like that, or just shows in general, movies, and seeing how the character develops over time, and seeing kind of how all the pieces eventually fall into place, like, that's cool. Like, I feel like that... I feel like that is an art form in its own right, and that's something that's honestly really neat. Now, that being said, when it comes to, like I was saying, like, in the video game department, I probably wouldn't be good in the arts area. I think I could have been if I did graphic art design. Because I took a graphic art class by... My junior year of high school? I think it was my junior year of high school. I took a graphic art course, and it was really, really cool. Um, and it was one of those courses where it was like, I was going to go into it completely blind, didn't really have any sort of clue on what I was going to be doing, but it was probably going to be simplified down to a degree where I would be able to understand it and would really, really enjoy it. And I really did, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't take, like, the second section of that course, because I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot, but I don't know. I'll continue this conversation in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, make sure you hit that like button down below, because it would be greatly appreciated. 
um, next time we should be we should get the Snowpoint City, and honestly, we might be able to take on and beat uh, Candace. I, I, I think we'll be able to take on and beat Candace in the next episode, so make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on that, and make sure you follow my socials in the description below. I did, I'm, I'm saying this in hopes that I do get the, the TikTok up. Our third TikTok should be up on my uh, TikTok ch uh, page, so if you guys can check those out, that'd be very much appreciated. Um, either way, I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a great day. 